So one thing I've learned about riding up hills, apart from having the right gearing, is you just got to you got to have the mentality for it. You got to enjoy it and just enjoy it because hill training is the best training you can get around. And Adelaide, just incredible place for cycling. So my tip with hill training, breathe. You want to breathe in through your belly. You want your shoulders sort of relaxed. You don't want to be like that. Because you're like that, your breathing's really hindered. So drop your shoulders, have your hands on top like that, or out here. When you get out of the saddle, you can click up one harder gear and then use your body weight. Out of the saddle isn't as efficient, but can help you use different muscle groups. In the saddle is the most efficient. So use both. Use two methods and you get the best efficiency out of yourself. But spinning, you want to, your cadence wants to be at least 80. My cadence is pretty low now, but I'm just going easy. But if you're going full gas and your cadence is under 80, really under 90, above 90 is better. 90 to 110, you'll quickly work out what you prefer. And that's where a power meter really is handy. You've got to get a power meter. It helps so much. And power meters these days, <sighs> cadence meters built in. So that's my little tips for climbing. Enjoy it. Relax your shoulders. Breathe from the belly. Have the right gearing. And use a power meter to pace with. Start off at one watt per kilo and see how you go from there. And if you're feeling really frisky, you can try and hold seven watts per kilo. Lance Armstrong could hold roughly seven watts a kilo for 30 minutes after five hours of racing in the day, in the summer, after two weeks of racing. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. See you soon.